And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you some I guess breaking news if you want to call it that kind of got it yesterday but I wasn't too sure about it until I wanted to get some confirmation that this is actually happening and it looks like it's pretty much going to happen so we all know that Marvel is going to be announcing Phase 4 soon I know Black Widow's filming we know that's coming we heard about this the Eternal movie that's going to be also coming about the past uh, bunch of celestial stuff. But there was some stuff that we don't know about like what's going to happen with the Thor character, Black Panther, all that. We'll probably get that around this week because Comic-Con literally starts today. Well apparently, I guess last night, um, Marvel slash Disney announced that Taika Waititi, the director of Thor Ragnarok, is coming back to direct... Thor 4. So it looks like Thor 4 is going to be a part of Marvel's Phase 4. <laughs> Get it? Um, now what do I think about this? I think it's awesome. I, I, I truly, truly love the Thor series. I think it's awesome. Every single one of them. I love the first one. Love the second one. Love the third one. There are some things in the first two that I don't like and same thing with the third one. But overall, all three of them together, it's they're amazing. The Thor character to me is a fun, awesome, badass guy who, who had a lot of demons that he had to basically, you know, fix as he, you know, progressed from the Avenger movies to his own movies. And he just gets better and better. We go see him from being this, you know, arrogant, selfish boy who had to be worthy of the hammer to basically the man who almost killed Thanos. If we just aimed a little higher in, in Avengers Infinity War to... Yeah, slight spoiler here for Avengers Endgame. Going from that to going to a broken man who basically failed and had to get redemption of that. And he kind of did a little bit in Endgame because, you know, he kind of got overweight. And, you know, he kind of, you know, was kind of pathetic due to the fact that, you know, he... He was a broken man. And then, you know, by the end of that movie, when the big fight happened, he kind of redeemed himself a little bit by standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rest of the Avengers and going after Thanos. And um, it looks like he kind of did. We also got some sneak peeks of what's going to happen with his character. You know, again, spoiler for Avengers Endgame. He kind of joins the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I don't know if the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be a part of Thor 4. Or if this is going to take place before he joins the Guardians. Who knows. I know we're getting Guardians 3. We already know that's coming after James Gunn does Suicide Squad. And how awesome is that? Marvel guy directing a DC movie and a Marvel movie. That's perfect. But um, yeah. So I like this idea. I want to see more Thor. And I beg. I beg whoever's in charge of these movies. I know Kevin Feige's mostly in charge. I beg him. Please. Please. Taika Waititi. If you're listening to this video. I know you're not. But please bring Natalie Portman back. I know there are a lot of people out there who don't like her character. That's fine. Bunch of haters. This Princess Amidala for you people. But bring her back. Please. For one cameo. One little thing. A picture on the screen. I don't care. I just want to see her again. Hell. Bring her back as Thor for all I care. Rule Asgard with Thor. Her, with the two of them being back together. Please do something like that. That would be so awesome. That would bring my dreams together. It's like yeah Thor. Thor Jane people. That's what we need to have. Bring her in that movie. But anyway. <laughs> sorry. I, I, I'm a huge Natalie, Port Natalie Portman fan. So yeah. Anyway. So. I think this is awesome. I I am very excited for this. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to get the official title. Or the official confirmation that. Yeah. We're going to throw four. Maybe. I don't know. Next year. And then the year after. But it's coming people. We're going to get that. Obviously we are already getting Black Widow. Even though they really have not confirmed that, but we already seen pictures and leaked videos for that, so whatever. Anyway, this sounds cool, so let me know what you guys thought about it. And what do you guys think about Thor 4 happening before anybody else's movie? And um, are you guys excited like I am for Thor 4? Because um, it's going to be fun whenever it comes out, but it is coming. It's coming. So uh, leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys thought about it. And thank you very much and have a good day.